So today we're going to be putting some new product on our Project Romero 87 Silverado 4 wheel drive 1500. The first thing we want to show you, this is just released this year. This is the new Iron Cross heavy duty bumpers for the 81 to 87 Silverado truck. A lot of manufacturers aren't producing these heavy duty bumpers for trucks of this age. Uh, not only is this product going to make the truck look different and add some looks to it, but it's actually going to add some features that make it more functional and give it some tools and work. Uh, we're also going to be putting a new Xeon winch on it. We're going to have actually a Warren representative here to talk to us about uh, the features and the uh, specific uh, uh, product information about the Xeon winches. And we're going to show you how it installs the bumper and then put the bumper on the truck. So a great new product from both of these companies. Real excited to see how they work together and then how do they make our truck more useful. Okay, so before we install this great new Iron Cross bumper into our truck, we're actually going to pre-install one of Warren's new Xeon winches. And we actually have Corby Phillips, sales manager with Warren, Good morning. with us. How are you, Corby? Great. So this is a totally new winch from Warren, isn't it? Yeah, the Xeon came out in 2012. We released it at SEMA there. A great winch, got some improved features that we're going to talk about in the video later on. Uh, but the install should be short and sweet, about 8 to 10 volts, and it'll be on the truck. And then you can slide the bumper on there and uh, rock and roll. Wow. So we're going to take this out of the package see what's in it and then show you how it installs in the bumper. So Corbin, we've taken everything out of the kit. Uh, show us what all comes with the Xeon winch here. Well, of course you got your winch uh, with your wiring already pre-attached, your ground and your, and your power cable here. A uh, nice thing about our winches, they come with a uh, protective cover over the power cable. So when we're running this cable through the truck, we don't have any chance of cutting on some body uh, panels and uh, uh, protects against uh, possibly having a short and, and causing some major issues. Um, then we go on to, we have a hardware pack with your bolts for the fair lead and uh, the feed of the winch to bolt it to the mounting plate. We've got a complete instruction packet, warranty manual, as well as a safe winching guide in here. Uh, we've got a tethered remote, um, fair lead, fair lead hardware, and then we have the Spydura synthetic rope with the ballistic nylon sleeve um, and the stuff to hook that up. And then today, the very last thing we'll install will be an upgraded hook, which is our new premium hook for Warren. Uh, it is a Sierra Coat product uh, with an improved clasp and then a beverage over in integrated into the hook itself. So nice new style, a nice upsell for the guy out there that wants to be different with his Warren winch. Um, and of course, safety is the number one thing with any install. Uh, David and I will be using our uh, Warren Mechanics gloves during the install today. Uh, they've got a Kevlar reinforced pro uh, palm as well as a sweat wipe. Uh, a nice uh, pair of gloves when you're working on your vehicle or out there winching as well. Great. So I guess the first process is to get everything that we don't need for the actual install right now off the table. We'll pull the bumper up here and see how the fitment looks and look at our options. So you'll notice in the Iron Cross bumper it has a pre-installed quarter inch steel winch plate already in it. So we know we have a clearance here and it may fit right in but you always want to take your winch and test fit it and see what your options are especially with the Xeon winch that gives us a few more options and see how it's going to fit. So we're going to slide the Xeon up in here and see how she fits. Um, like David alluded to, we have an option of pulling the control pack off to, for better fitment. And it looks like today we're going to have to do that. So we're going to tear the control pack uh, down and get it rewired for under the hood uh, connection rather than being on top of the winch. And it'll fit in there nice and easy. So that's one of the great features of the Xeon is it does give you the option to have a low profile winch when you need it. Yes, sir. Great. So we're going to go through that process, show you how to switch this up to fit into this bumper, and we'll be right back. Okay, so Corby, we t test fitted in the bumper. We saw that there were some clearance issues, but the Xeon was built for that kind of situation, wasn't it? Correct. So we're going to uh, go ahead and take the control pack off, uh, get it rewired, the 70-inch long uh, extension kit to run this control pack underneath the hood, and uh, we'll get it worked out and buttoned up and be winching in no time. Great. Well, let's go through the process.